As a result of the age of industrialization, the means by which food could be grown, transported, and prepared was revolutionized. The increased burning of coal, wood, and other energy resources used to power the new technology resulted in a surge of emitted greenhouse gases. However, not all hope is lost. A new movement driven by a growing environmental consciousness is bringing America back to its roots in local food production. Ands may answer the question, what are farm-to-table restaurants and how do they reduce carbon emissions? This is Claire Benjack, the owner of Franklin County's River Road Farm. We produce the beef, we raise the animal, and we also have eggs and sometimes vegetables. On Sunday, I got 11 dozen. Mm. They knew it was Easter. <laughs> they knew it was Easter, so they laid a lot. <laughs> This is Erica Marciak, a professor of supply chain management at Old Dominion University. My definition of farm to table restaurants are that the restaurant owner or organization that owns several of them looks for local resources to supply the goods that they need to cook, to prep, to provide their customers. We do not ship. We try and keep all of our food in this area so that I can just uh, make sure that I'm not putting any more footprint out there with gasoline and everything. So people come here or I go to Norfolk and do a bunch of deliveries at one time. We take our food to the chartreuse and the bakehouse and the stock pot. River Road Farm, they came to us and we're eating here on a regular basis and said that we really wanted to be able to find a way to partner with you guys. Farm to table restaurants can substantially contribute to reducing climate change impacts. One of the benefits of farm to table is a shortened supply chain because essentially you are limiting your uh, resource area to things that are close to you, which means that you're transporting stuff less. It's one of the difficulties for getting your produce or any kind of goods from far so that someone has to either bring it to you or someone has to go pick it up. I think keeping things as close to home as you possibly can um, helps in a multitude of ways. So when you're transporting goods through the supply chain, there are uh, more or less sustainable choices you can make for transporting goods. In general, uh, transport over water is the least environmentally impactful. Over rail is second. Over trucking uh, on roadways is probably the most impactful. Any organization, a restaurant, a company, or even an individual, there are many different ways that can be used to address climate change. There is no one particular way. Everybody can do something 